So we talk about hydrogen a lot. I think most people on the earth know what hydrogen is, right? What's our first thought? The Hindenburg, that's what everybody thinks. But let's dive a little bit deeper into what hydrogen is. A, it's a gas. It's number one on the periodic table because it's so tiny. And what does hydrogen do? Let's talk a little bit about hydrogen gas. So hydrogen what we, is many different types. There's different isotopes of hydrogen. The one that I'll focus my conversation is on what's called molecular hydrogen or diatomic hydrogen. This is H2. That's what we're talking about here. So why hydrogen? What does it do? How does it benefit us? Hydrogen is known to reduce oxidative stress. If we really understand the function of the body, if we get down to a, to a deep level in the body, it's carbon hydrogen chains that everything is made up of. So hydrogen is a huge building block, very, very critical for life. And if we start to understand hydrogen, we have to start again with the gut. So what does the gut have to do with hydrogen? Well, when you eat food, especially foods that are broken down into short chain fatty acids, medium chain fatty acids, or beneficial fiber rich foods, if we have anaerobic microflora in the gut or the proper bacteria in the gut, those bacteria will eat those foods and they release gas. Well, we call it flatulence, right? Well, what's flatulence made of? Hydrogen, methane, other gases, but hydrogen is a big part of that. So we have a hydrogen generator built into our body, in our gut. When we're fermenting food, we create hydrogen. Hydrogen is necessary to regulating oxidation in the body. And there's over 200 biomolecules that are regulated by hydrogen gas being present in the body. Many different enzyme actions are modulated by hydrogen gas. So this is one of the huge benefits of hydrogen and why we need hydrogen in the body is because it is a signal modulator. What that really means is it gives direction to things or systems that are supposed to happen in the body that if hydrogen is not there, then those things don't happen as well and you'll have to take supplements to get those enzyme actions going or to accomplish what hydrogen can do naturally. One of the things I love that hydrogen does is as soon as you drink water with hydrogen in it, when it hits your stomach, it stimulates selectively ghrelin, what's called gastric ghrelin. Well, ghrelin, we call the hunger hormone, not because it makes you hungry, but because when you are hungry, you produce ghrelin. But the benefits of ghrelin with every organ in the body, there are tremendous benefits for weight loss, for fat storing, for all kinds of things. But one of the things I love that it does is it regulates the brain. For neurologic issues like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, bipolar, schizophrenia, on and on, we have studies on all these things showing that when you bring hydrogen gas into the stomach, it selectively stimulates gastric ghrelin, which goes to the hippocampus, the hypothalamus, and the brainstem in the brain to increase brain function, or what we call cognitive function. This is incredible for people that have neurologic issues. They will feel that difference within minutes. So these are some of the things that hydrogen will do. Also, hydrogen is known to help the mitochondrial respiratory chain in the body. Now this is critical because this is where your energy is produced in the body is the mitochondria. So if we can have hydrogen signaling through catalase regulation not to have hydroxyl radicals produced in the body, then we have cleaner energy and we don't have fatigue. These are some of the major benefits of hydrogen also is no fatigue when we're exercising or working out or participating in sporting events increased brain function. Also, we have huge, huge benefits with hydrogen on, again, oxidative stress in the body, which is the most important thing to do. And where does oxidative stress come from? Reactive oxygen species. Hydroxyl radicals are one of the most cytotoxic or cell damaging reactive oxygen species in the body. And hydrogen has shown in studies to lower or completely stop the production of hydroxyl radicals so that your mitochondrial function can be at efficiency or peak. That, that's huge. If you want to have energy throughout the day and not feel like you need a nap at two o'clock, 
These are the natural things that hydrogen should be doing. Again, if our gut was working properly, we would produce hydrogen, we would have all these benefits, and we wouldn't need to have hydrogen water. But because 96%, I believe, I'm being kind, but the vast majority of the population has a gut that is not functioning or dysfunctioning, and therefore we need to repair the gut. And you might ask, how do I know if I have gut issues? Well, anytime you have food allergies, anytime you can't eat gluten or dairy or other things, you have gut issues. Anytime it's easy for you to get sick or you're tired a lot or you're producing, you know, things like this is what you would want to understand. Those are telltale signs that you have gut issues. We can help with that. We can, we can fix ourselves. This is not difficult to do. But this are some of the things, just some of the things that hydrogen does. There's over 700 studies, 45 human studies, showing the effects on 170 human disease models. Things like diabetes, things like cancer. There are beautiful studies on colon cancer, on diabetes, type 2 diabetes mellitus. Huge effects on cholesterol levels, right? As we lower oxidative stress in the body, cholesterol levels naturally will dissipate in the veins of our body. So these are huge benefits that come as a result of having hydrogen in the body. And if you have hydrogen in your body naturally because your gut is functioning, then you'll have all these benefits. If you don't, that's why I developed the Echo Hydrogen Rich System to assist you in getting back to what the creator of your body wanted you to experience every day.